What's up, YouTube family? So we are about to cook our Father's Day dinner. So on the menu, we have some spare ribs, the ones that are cut like short like this, fried pork chops, baked beans with hamburger meat, mac and cheese, and cornbread. So I've already rinsed off my pork ribs, and I'm gonna season those first. So I'm gonna put my gloves on, cause when I mix it, I don't feel like getting my fingernails all dirty and getting stuff in there. I got my oven preheated because the pork stereo, the uh, spare ribs are going to go in the oven. And I also got my grease going outside so I can fry the pork chops. Okay. So I'm going to put my meat in this bowl here. This is what each one looks like. So this is just some um, fried shallots. I'm going to add that in here. couple pieces of that. Got two of those. You can get this extra Asian market also. It smells very good. Then I'm gonna put some poison sauce. Javante! <laughs> Come here. Adding seasoning sauce, you guys. This is not soy sauce. It tastes different than soy sauce. Add some seasoning sauce. Bay! I need the brown sugar. And I'm gonna try this. This is um, a garlic and onion spice blend. So we're gonna put this in there. Oh God. And then some brown sugar so it can be sweet. And I'm just gonna mix all of this up. Make sure each one is covered really, really good. If you don't have shallot, shallot or shallot, however you're supposed to pronounce it, just cut y'all up some onion and put your onion in there, soft, or some green onion. I would've did either or. They all part of the onion family. Okay, so each one is covered nice and good. Got a good coat going. Okay, This was the perfect size for this little dish. Because we're not cooking a lot, you guys. So I'm cooking like three different meats. No, two different meats. So this will be good enough. And then all this that's in here, I'm going to pour it across it on top. Yes, baby. What show is that, babe? What show is that one, son? What show is that? So here is what it looks like, and I am about to put this in the oven on 350 and cover it with some foil. Okay, so next we have our pork chops, which are center cut, and it's only four pork chops. Y'all, it's two flowers in here, and it's like really irking me for folks going in and out of the freaking house. Alright, so let's do the pork chops. And I'm just trying to place them in this thing here. We got four good pieces. Open my seasoning up. And I have some onion powder.
some garlic powder, and notice everything I'm using is powder so far. No garlic salt, none of that, because I'm going to use some seasoned salt, and that's going to be my saltiness. Put some seasoned salt and some lemon pepper. how they like it, so this is how I'm cooking. I'm just gonna rub that in there, make sure each one is coated nice and good. and gravy guys and I'm just gonna cover this and like let that flavor sit in there I'm gonna give it a couple of pokes I'm gonna stick it in the fridge until I'm ready to fry them Okay, so now I'm gonna start the baked beans. First thing we're gonna do is ground some ground beef. And I don't need all this ground beef. I'm gonna do like half of this. It's easy, y'all just ground it. <laughs> if you don't eat beef or red meat, you can do this with ground turkey also. And I'm just gonna turn ground it up until it's all flat. I don't wanna see no pink, okay? Anybody watch Pea Valley? I ain't caught none of the new episodes yet. Okay, so I drank grease from the ground beef and I rinsed it. I always rinse my ground beef off with water. You get like all the extra oil Is off there. Cool? Uh huh. called break dancing so this is the bushes um baked beans the maple and cured bacon kind so we're gonna a can of that and i probably don't add all that ground beef in here let me see how much i need to add and let's put some ground beef in here just enough to get some meat going. We don't need all of that. That's enough right there. That meat is gonna soak up some of them oils too and get a meat flavor. That's enough. So I'm gonna add some brown sugar to this because they like it sweet. So let's add some brown sugar. So I just did about like a, ta ta a tablespoon and a half. And then I'm gonna also add some regular sugars. About one of those. And some maple syrup. Let me get the syrup. I think I'm like, dang, that's gonna be sweet, but it's going to be good. Give it a stir and I'm gonna taste test it. But sometimes I add different things depending on like who I'm cooking it for. But since it's Father's Day, fruit likes his simple. Beans, meat, and sugary. So I'm gonna make it to how he likes it. But I didn't add a cilantro. I didn't add it onion, extra bacon, bell pepper, all the pans. Barbecue sauce, hot sauce. I done did my baked beans all kind of ways. And I'm just going to taste a little bit, just to see. Good. You cover it with some foil and put it in the oven.
I wonder what he gonna do with his. Okay, so those are cooking. The grease heat is on 350. So cooking kind of not too high. Normally I do my chicken, I do it at like 375. But those are thicker pork chops and I wanna make sure they cook through good. And y'all see I didn't flour them because it's made them like flour on his pork chops. So let's check on these little riblets. Yes. Um, nothing right now, baby. Mommy's trying to cook this food. What are you cooking? Pork chops. Pork chops. Some little ribs. That's what you said to me. I'm just flipping them. Yes, baby. You do? <laughs> Where you like heard that song yet? Yeah, I was watching Oh. 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 Alright. Let's sit down. Like so. The one box of food. Because I'm out of breath. One box of Honey Jiffy. I'm almost done. Almost done? Mm -hmm. This is some self-rising um, buttermilk cornbread, cornmeal mix. I need you to get me two eggs, please. Yeah. I okay, I think as soon as you get done. Sugars. Huh? That's why I need to go to eat. Number six. Your pinky promise? Mm-hmm. Some butter. I'm going to skip it. Can you give me some two eggs in there? Yes, babe. Put this in the oven to the buttermilk. Huh? Oh, they don't have human eggs. I need two of them, babe. No, I want to make an egg. Okay. Not right now. Okay. Yes. But you can't get the eggshell in it. I won't. You sure? Uh-huh. Can right, I do it? Let's try. How you doing? Crack it against here. Now split it with your fingers. Uh-uh, where the crack at? Where's the crack? Put your finger in there. Crack it open. There you go. Go throw it away. Stick it in here. No, don't do that. You're going to get eggshell in there. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Come on. Go put it here. Go wash your hands. Don't put that in my face. In your face. In your face. I didn't say that. Yeah. In your face. <laughs> in your face, Amir. In your face, Mama. Y'all can see what's going on in here. You use soap? Okay. You don't need a lot of mirror. Okay. I'm kidding. How many pumps you did? How many is that? Three. Three? That's a lot of pumps, man. 
Three is not after one. Three is after two, baby. Hey, okay, don't break your gun. No, I need both. Oh. Okay, so waiting on the butter to melt. I'm gonna put my cornbread in my cast iron skillet. I'm gonna start this mac and cheese. Y'all know I just do the Velveeta, nothing special, so I'm not gonna do that on camera. Some more flavor. What you doing in there? This. That's a, a curtain rod to hang curtains up over the window. Why? What you thought it was? It can be a uh, um. What do the kings have? They hold. They hold that. Stick this back in. Oh, I just want y'all to see this real quick. You guys, this is what I mean by that caramelization color. And I just keep flipping them, okay? So each side can have that color to it. And have flavor in it. But this is gonna be so good. And you can dress this up even more. You can cut you up some green onion, some fresh onion, you know, season it up a little more. But that hoisin sauce and that um that seasoning sauce I use is gonna add mad flavor. So that's why you guys didn't see me use like garlic powder and stuff in those uh fried shallots that I added in there. Those are gonna add a lot of flavor too. So yes, honey. You gonna do what? Where are you going like that? Where are you traveling to? <laughs> okay, let the cornbread get a little bit more golden. We have our beans down here. Yes, babe. Okay, honey. I'm the queen? Yes. Okay. As your queen, beans are in there cooking, boiling. That liquid looks good. If, if you're gonna let me be the queen, I need the queen crown. My Father's Day dinner is done. Y'all, I make Velveeta and I make it extra wet because that's how my baby like it. He don't like his macaroni and cheese stiff. He like it liquidy. So I add extra cheese in there. And there go my ribs, cornbread, pork chops. I did spread a little bunny honey on there. So I'm going to plate his food and take him his plate. Dinner is done, guys. Here's the finished thing. Take my baby his plate so he can eat. We ain't eating on camera today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe. And as always, I love you all.